Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the closure of the seventh edition of the international design competition Jump the Gap. We are really proud about the results of this edition with more than 6,000 registrations, 135 countries, and maybe today Jump the Gap is one of the more important contests in the field of the design. Patrick Schumacher, president of the jury, will present the Jump the Gap talk. Please welcome Mr. Patrick Schumacher. In the sustainability category, we are Water Foundation. The winning project is Delta by Michael Ondo and Kinga Dribrodska. I think that we won in a special sustainability category because Delta is a very simple and efficient and it's also appealing and encourage people to use it. I think competition like Jump the Gap are great. They really give opportunities to young architects, young designers to meet each other, to express themselves, to see that the world is very big but also very connected. The following category is the student one with a 10,000 euro award. The winner is Landa by Denis Lara Molina. Pues la principal dificultad es pensar en el futuro y bueno, la esterilización en humanos con luz es algo novedoso. Of course, if you win or if your project is selected, it's the top. But I think it's a good exercise and I think that uh, it's important that young people also participate to share the, the privilege of being part of this um, Jump the Gap world. The winner of the 10,000 euros of the professional award of Jump the Gap is Panacea by Mohamed Reza Shamohamadi. I inspired that framework to uh, create elastical shape for pasta, which adapt to all uh, environment situations around the house and environment. We have a, a very good companies, a lot of talent, a lot of talent, and this is the future. I mean, this is the future. To think again things, to come together, to collaborate. So Jump to Gap is a great effort from uh, Roca to do this, and I'm very stimulated by the results. So, and I think to be part of this is very uh, rewarding for a young designer. 